Well, the collaboration between the two nations is timely, as the skies are about to become a lot more busy. The new report says 23 million Chinese tourists will be booking flights to the U.S. over the next four years. And making sure American airports are ready for all those visitors could boost the industry's development even further. CCTV's Hendrix Sabrandi reports. Reno Tahoe International Airport in Nevada isn't a large facility. Just a hundred commercial arrivals and departures each day. It prides itself on its friendliness, its customer service. Oh my God! Dogs are on hand to lower the stress of traveling for passengers. And airport staff make sure those passengers are headed the right way. They ask me uh, if we need any help. That's really nice. Chinese visitors make up a tiny fraction of Reno Tahoe's business, but the airport has a resident Mandarin speaker, Jim Liu, who lends his interpreting skills when needed. So we try to understand the Chinese people. We try uh, to put more effort to build up the bridge between China and Reno. That bridge will be carrying more people in the years ahead. The number of yearly Chinese visitors to the U.S. will more than double to 6.5 million by 2020, according to consultants Boyd Group International. They really share our sense of humor. They really share our, our, our outlook. And so it's really such a natural fit. And yet attendees at the recent International Aviation Forecast Summit were told U.S. airports aren't ready for this influx of travelers. First impression is could be very bad for Chinese uh, visitors from the U.S. Hainan Airlines Vice President Hu Wei says many facilities have long lines and are behind the times. Some of them are very outdated and not very user-friendly. Airports around America are losing a lot of economic impact because our gateways are not geared to handle Chinese visitors. Summit organizer Mike Boyd says more visitors would fly through those airports if they felt more comfortable doing so. His firm, China Nihao, is working on that. It's language, it's information, it's communication touch points, it's being China welcome. It's estimated that more than half of all international Chinese travel is booked on smartphones. So it's critical, experts say, that U.S. airports and travel destinations become more internet friendly, whether that's a WeChat page or a Chinese website. Nearby Squaw Valley Ski Resort is preparing for a big bump in skiers from China. We're working with everybody from front desk personnel to guest services, people at all the properties and resorts, our staff on the mountain, our signage. As the head of Reno Tahoe Airport puts it, we're learning those things that we need to know. 150 years ago, Chinese laborers in this area helped build America's transcontinental railroad, the new form of transportation in its day. Now a wave of Chinese tourists could help U.S. airports modernize the way they handle foreign travelers. They want to come here. We want them here. We need to open the gates more. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Squaw Valley, California.